What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trinity and welcome to the first video on this channel and in this video we are going to be looking into how to set up your steering wheel with Farming Simulator 2019. As you probably know, today the game got released and I saw a lot of people complain about the support for steering wheels and actually losing their bindings and everything else. So in this video I'm gonna go over how to correctly set up your steering wheel so you can play your game without actually worrying do you need to set up your key bindings but before we do start let me show you my my settings in logitech profiler i'll be using g25 but you can use this uh, with any wheel as you possibly can this is just for the people that are running a little bit advanced settings so these are my options overall effect is all this 100 percent I leave 24% or 27% depends. I guess 27% is feeling for me a little bit more realistically, and I put this to 900 degrees. And keep in mind, guys, report combined pedals needs to be checked for this game. Now let's jump into the game and take a look into the game settings. Now, first, what you're gonna do is want to adjust is you're gonna start with this. I turned down the music volume, but you need to enable gamepad steering wheels to be on. Input help will be keyboard and rest will be as you wish actually. Video settings doesn't really matter. Controls, we'll cover that later. Now, go to the last section which should give you the calibration for the axis of your joystick. Right now for me Logitech Extreme 3D is selected. We're gonna switch device and we're gonna go to G25 Racing Wheel. What you want to adjust here is axis 1 at that zone, which is the rotation axis for the steering wheel, to be at 0% and everything else should be at 14. Once you that, hit apply and let's switch to the options here. Now, here's what where the lies the problem. Now when we go to the gamepad options, you can click X or just click this button over here. You'll have this like a lot of bending automatically done to your wheel and your joystick or any controller you have on your PC. Uh, as you're probably want, wondering, you want to delete all of them together. Now, this is important stuff. You want to delete it as and then later on rebind it as you want. Now open menu you cannot leave it so leave it as it is or change it to something that you wish. Now it will take some time if you have multiple controllers as I do. I'm gonna speed up this process in the video. Actually I will not, I will not. I will let, I will let you see how long does it take to set up this entire wheel. It's quite easy, but I spent like two hours researching into this topic and I want to share it with you so you don't get stuck for now. Now I believe this will be updated in the future, but I think for now this is the best option to give what you actually want. Now if, if you can go over it and check maybe your game set it correctly but I want to remove everything because I'm, I don't want to use the joystick in the moment so let's go from the top so uh, I will go to enter I will just start showing what I will do I will, bind, I will bind enter vehicle I will uh, activate object I'm gonna go with uh, attach tool I'm gonna go with star stop engine, toggle lights, because I want to have option, toggle beacon lights, turn signals left, turn signal right, down, 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 you can actually go through all of this, but I will skip it, now brake, I will select my brake, by throttle, I'm gonna steer right, and 
this should be pretty much it. Uh, save controls. Okay. Go back and guys. Uh, yes. What will happen right now if we do only this? Our controls will usually stay the same. But for many of you, you can experience, as you can see, this this has been changed. I'm gonna apply that. We go back. Career. I wanna start a new career with Ravenpool. Let's burn Ravenpool. Ah, let's go with it. I'll just continue. Start. Now this is one important step to do. Uh, I was struggling in the beginning. I set up everything up, jump into the game, and none of my options works. So in order to counter that, to load the game, wait for it finished loading. It will take a little bit of time, depends on your machine. Come on. Uh, it's my taking, I don't know what's taking this long. But soon it should load. Come on. Okay, hit start. Uh, no. Now you are loaded into the uh, map. Now, if you restart the game, it will basically cancel everything that you have done. So, you want to go to hit the escape menu. You can even change options to hit this. Then go to this eye, save game, and then quit game. And your game will restart once again. That's why you see black screen now. If you go to options, that zone, it will remain the same. So nothing will be changed. Now guys, this is important steps. Don't forget to do it. Otherwise, you are going to be into the problems. You can go with different tutorials and everything else. And enjoy your game. Now you have your wheel set up. You can apply this method for any controller for the game you want. I shown the example of the steering wheel. I didn't bind all the keys that I want to be. And I will do it later. But for you stick with this and you will not have any problems for now. Until this get walked around. It's probably some mistake with the code. Thanks everybody for watching. I, I really do hope you have a really good day. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave the comment below. If you like the video, press that like button. If you like, you can also subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on the Twitch where I will be doing live streams of this game. And have a nice day everybody and speak to you later. Bye bye.